Okay, so next clip. Art of Dialogue. So the Art of Dialogue. This is Andre Risen speaking on <laughs> Left Eye burning his house down and Tupac picking up his wife after. Talk about Dirty Mac and go ahead, man. You and Left Eye, right? I don't know if this is true or not, so I got to ask you, man. Um, Is it true that y'all got in an argument and it got real, real heated and Tupac came to your house and picked her up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but I, I assume that was already planned. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> uh, I just looked outside. There was a limo outside. and She was getting in the limo and the door cracked. When the door cracked, it was obvious. A couple people, other people outside too, so. Everybody seen everybody seen everything, but it was all it was all to the good. Like I said, I was already disengaging, you know. The day they left, I burned down your house. You was telling me that it was more to the story, right? Because I always believe, right, that you know she came home, she seen that you bought a whole lot of shoes, and you didn't buy her none, so she ended up burning down the house. But she was telling me that it's more to the story. You said that she cost you earlier that day with a female, right, at the house before she burned it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she came in. The, she came in the house. She came in the house, but it was a whole bunch of women in the house. You know what I'm saying? It was a whole bunch of women in the house. That's another thing. Like I said, they get that pen, they get the narrating, but nobody told you this either, too. Um, that was the same night that black limo pulled up. Mm. That's the same night as. The black limousine, right? So the same day that she burned down your house was the same day that Tupac came to your house and picked her up. <laughs> you said that. You said that. <laughs> that's that. That's that same night. So I don't know what happened, but something happened right on that end. And all of a sudden, they doubled back and... She was coming through the door. We was on some, we, we had company already, right? We had, fellas had company already. Me and my boys had company already. My boys had company already, right? I didn't have no company. My boys had company, right? I'm going to the studio. Okay. Wow. My boys out, a couple more other boys outside. They looking through the front of the limousine. I just caught a little glimpse, the door, like. They looking through the front, though. And they like, so when I came around, we ain't sweat it, man. We don't sweat stuff where we from. We didn't sweat it. We just turned up. It's like, oh. And, and my boys was already validating that this was going on. That's why I told you. Remember, I told you I was already alerted. So my boys was like, let's turn up then. So we turned up. Yeah, that's crazy, man. So your homies, they gave you a heads up that she was talking to Tupac on the low. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. But it's all good, though. We weren't sweating. We just turned up. All right, so I think we have enough footage to have a conversation about this. Uh, God, you know, I always like to refer to you guys. So, um, how do you guys feel about Tupac dirty macking and picking up Left Eye after he allegedly convinced her to burn that nigga house down? That's what I'm rolling with. Mm. He convinced her. I feel like I feel like Andre Rosen came home with all them shoes and clothes and left that and dropped that shit off and left the house, and she. Dial 1-800-Tupac Shakur and was like, hey, man, this nigga out here stunting and fronting. He didn't got his new crib. He didn't got all these flies, Nikes and shit. What the hell going on? Tupac said, burn that nigga shit right burn now. Burn everything. Light all them new shoes on fire. I'm sitting in the limo right now. I'll be in the back of that bitch with a, with a hot pizza. <laughs> I'll be in a. I'll be in the back of. I'll be in the back of limo with a hot little Caesars and a bottle of Mad Dog. I got a ten piece wing on your ass. Ten piece lemon pepper. Three ranches out this bitch. Extra garlic. 
And I feel like he, uh, you know what I'm saying? I feel like Tupac Dirty Mac, you know what I'm saying? I definitely believe Tupac Dirty Mac for real, though. I, I definitely can see that shit. Hey, listen, man. As a nigga who rocks the T-Mac jersey myself, um, I always appreciate a good Dirty Mac, you know what I'm saying? You know, I always appreciate a nigga who can always throw another nigga under the bus. Pac was a scandalous man. nigga. Like, he was a cool nigga, but he's Pac hey, was I'm a scandalous nigga. Hey, Dirty Mac. Don't let, me, don't let your bitch start venting to me. You the worst thing in the Pac, world. Pac, definitely. Pac was definitely one of them niggas. Do I don't not care let your bitch vent to him. You. What did he do to make you stab him? Pac gonna, Pac gonna give her the worst possible scenario at all. He'd be like, you well, know what? I, I really think that nigga don't crispy. be... I don't think that nigga take you seriously. You should really give that nigga a message.